with the undertakers. To whom am I speaking to? Oh, hello, Mrs. Riley. <coughs> hey? Big Madge Buckley. Well, what about her? She said what about our Billy? How dare she? He does not have a funny walk. <laughs> well, not the way she means. <laughs> well, it's all on account of his burial trousers, you see. They've never been the same since he was caught in that cloudburst last week when he was planting counterbottomly. <laughs> hey? Well, they shrunk, didn't they? Right round his fundamentals. <laughs> so it's no wonder he walks a bit funny at the moment. But it'll be all right as soon as I've let them out. Let his trousers out. <laughs> what do you think I meant? Yeah, well, now you know. <laughs> Any road, Madge Buckley should talk. <laughs> We all know what goes on in the back room of that wool shop of hers when the commercial travellers come calling. <laughs> it's knit one pearl one and drop everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was very kind of you to phone. Yes, I do appreciate it. Yes, bye. That's the old faggot. <laughs> oh, poor Billy. Why is everybody so spiteful about such a nice, kind, sweet-tempered lad as him? You're playing at your stupid great I'm so sorry, my son. <laughs> <laughs> Please forgive me, the fault was entirely mine. Oh, yes, well, uh, you want to watch it, Reverend. Another couple of inches and you've been talking to your employer direct. <laughs> Brother Benjamin. And your brother Benjamin, too, if he's already up there. No, no, I'm Brother Benjamin. Um, here. Brother Benjamin Bailey, evangelist, first time in Allshaw. Tonight. The Legion Hall, Chapel Street, six o'clock sharp. Do come. Eh? Oh, no, sorry, I can't. I'm rather busy tonight. Uh, please come. I'd like to offer up a prayer for our deliverance. Oh, well, yes, you, you can say it for both of us. Like I said, uh, I'm rather busy tonight. I've got to see a man about some coffin linings. <laughs> Besides, I belong to the Primitive Methodists. <laughs> We're all God's children, Mr... Uh, Enshaw, uh, William, Billy. I'm Sister Joanna, Mr. Henshaw. Brother Benjamin's helpmate. Legion Hall, Chapel Street, <laughs> six o'clock. <laughs> Do you mean that you're actually thinking of going? Well, why not? Seems like everyone else will be there. Well, I ask you, Billy. Come see and hear Brother Benjamin Bailey fight the devil and all his works, accompanied by Sister Joanna on the organ. <laughs> Sounds more like a musical turn. Ah, oh, well, there's not much else to do round here of an evening, except to go and look at the new electric street lamp outside the town hall privy. Oh, give over. And even Brother Benjamin's better than sitting around counting the grapes on the wallpaper. Anyway, time I was off. Sit down. Have you any idea what goes on at those sort of meetings? How those preachers shout at you, bully you, make you so confused, so guilty, that you're ready to confess to every sin in the book? And a lot more that you've never even heard of. Get away. And I mean, do you really want to go and watch a lot of nice, decent people being made to stand up in public, confessing to all sorts of terrible things? People like Flo Riley, Mrs. Crowther, even Big Madge Butley. <laughs> Excuse me. Where are you going? To get me out. I'm coming with you. <laughs> well, brother? Full house, sister. <laughs> <laughs> Never you mind, stinking thing. Did it from the bottom of the flaming pack again. Please, my dear, remember where you are. 
The Lord loveth a cheerful giver. Corinthians 2, verse 7. Look, you're talking to me now, not the prison governor. Anyway, it's nearly time to let him in. Let's hope we get better houses than we did down south. <laughs> Billy? Yes? Just a minute. You're not going in your burial trousers, are you? Eh? Oh, sorry, I forgot. Well, it's too late now. But don't move about unless you absolutely have to. All right? Eh? And if you see anyone looking at you, sit down fast. Why? Just do as I tell you, Chuck. Oh, if you won't be disappointed. About what? Tonight's meeting. Having met Brother Benjamin, I'm sure he's not what you're used to. Her neither. Her? Oh, you mean Sister Joanna? I tell you, Auntie, if ever there was a sweeter, more saintly lass, well, I'd like to meet her. Oh, I... Evening, Mrs. Unsworth. Still planting them, then, are you? <laughs> yes, indeed, Mrs. Buckley. Still dropping them. <laughs> Granted. Hello, Mrs. Unsworth. Hello, Billy. What are you doing here, Ernie Adfield? I'm here for exactly the same reasons as your good self, Mrs. Unsworth. A sincere desire to seek salvation and lead a better life. But above all... Yes? ...to have a good laugh. <laughs> That's more like it. Hey, what do you think of her, eh? As always, Billy, I think she's a very charming lady. No, oh, sure. Oh, not Auntie. Uh, Sister Joanna. Sister? I thought she was an anemic penguin. <laughs> Don't mess about her, Annie. I think she's lovely. And so do I, Chuck. And you'd do a lot better with someone like her than the sort you're used to. What sort's that, Mrs. Unsworth? You know. Those who are a bit free with the favours. All paint and powder and loose elastic. Who, <laughs> for instance? Oh, oh, don't tell me you haven't hung your hat up in Vera Venables Hall, her from Jubilee Street, or Alice McConaughey's from the buildings, or even Big Madge Butler's there. Yeah, no, no, it's a fast. Alice McConaughey. <laughs> Good evening, brothers and sisters, and welcome. My name is Brother Benjamin, and this is Sister Joanna. Who carries the banner, no doubt. <clears throat> when the good Lord sent me to Old Shore, I thought he made a mistake. For when I first saw your quiet little town, I thought to myself, this cannot be a place for wickedness. But I was wrong. Amen. Because as, I, because as I look at the faces of some of you here tonight, I know I haven't come a moment too soon. <laughs> yes, there are sinners here tonight, brothers and sisters. I can feel it, sense it, smell it in the air. Amen. The unmistakable stench of evil is everywhere. And where does it come from, brothers and sisters? From where? The drains. <laughs> from yourselves! From you, brothers and sisters, from you! Oh, you can groan, you can wail, you can gnash your teeth in anguish. <laughs> but nothing can disguise the acrid smell of sin and corruption. But make no mistake, the sins that you do, two by two, you will pay for one by one. <laughs> but all is not 
lost. There is still time to escape the burning fires of hell and damnation that await all you sinners here tonight. For remember, although your sins be scarlet, you will be as white as snow, Isaiah 1, 18. Praise be. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I beg you, no, I beseech you, those of you who feel the spirit moving within you tonight, to come forward to the penitent seat. Come! Today is the day of salvation. You, sir, are you so without sin you can turn your back on the Lord? And you, sister, do you not fear a confrontation with your maker? Can't say I do. But then, I'm in the same trade, normally <laughs> speaking. <laughs> well, why don't you ever go at this one here? He's right for salvation. You're off. Or even Mrs. Buckley there. She's right for anything. Oh, look here. Save me. Please save me. I don't want to burn in eternal hellfire. I want to be saved. And so you will, sister. Forgive me, Lord, for I have sinned. Chance would be a fine thing. <laughs> oh, I've sinned. Forty years on the shelf and still open. <laughs> Do anything for a bit of attention. And who will join our sister at the penitent seat? You, brother. You, sister. Who will take my hand and rest his weary head on my bosom? Well, now. Sit down. <laughs> Is there no one who needs the peace and tranquility that only the Lord can give? <laughs> Come, brother. My arms await thee. Billy. I said, I said, yes, me. I don't want to burn an eternal hell fire neither. Billy, Hallelujah. what do you think you're at? Hallelujah, sister. <laughs> oh, you. Put that lad down at once. He doesn't know what he's doing. How dare you, sister? Who are you to challenge the work of the Lord? I'm his auntie. And he is a sinner. A sinner who seeks redemption. So let us all up, up a hymn of gratitude. For his salvation. What a friend now, we look. have in Jesus. All our sins and grief to bear, all together. <laughs> what a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. We should never be discouraged. Of course it's my fault, Ernie. I should never have let him go to that meeting. I should have remembered how impressionable he is. How nice, how simple, how daft. <laughs> oh, Billy. Don't desert me for the likes of Brother Benjamin or that sister Joanna. After all, what can she offer you that I can't? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Bite your tongue, Ernie Hadfield. She's a nun, and even you should know what that means. Ah, none of this, none of that. <laughs> and above all, none of the other. <laughs> Why you, must you always bring everything down to the level of the local billiard saloon? This is serious. Billy's got it that bad that he doesn't even come home anymore. Where's he kept? At the Mission Hall, on the Palias. <laughs> right next to Sister Joanna's little organ. <laughs> no wonder he doesn't want to come home. <laughs> there you go again. Look, don't you understand? Unless we save Billy, he could end up a missionary... Well, as long as he's happy. Happy? What, in our line of business? No, his place is here with his own kith and kin. Safe, secure... And miserable. And miserable. <laughs> and why not? It's his duty to be miserable. 
He's been brought up to be miserable. <laughs> Ever since we took him to an undertaker's outing when he was a little lad. What sort of outing? And now, don't tell me, a guided tour round uh, Finnegan's Formaldehyde factory. Don't be stupid. It was a picnic. A Leeds crematorium. <laughs> Oh, and the way he fitted in, well, I could see then he had a calling. Yeah, well, I've got a calling, too, that open. Look, sit down. Why do you think I asked you here? To stuff yourself with my banana surprise? No, I need your help, Ernie. I want you to talk to Billy. Look, tell him that even though the business is collapsing and I'm nearly out of my mind with worry, if that is the sort of life that he chooses in his heart, he must do what his conscience tells him to do. Now, go on, you tell him. Go on, cos he'll listen to you. But what if he won't? Simple. Tell him I shall go straight round to that mission myself and I shall grab him by the neck and drag him all the way home. Now, go on. Give to the cause and help the work of the Lord. Every penny goes to Brother Bailey's evangelical mission. Give to the cause. Too late, son. I've already given. Oh, hello, Mrs. Riley. God bless you, sister, and may all your rabbits die. <laughs> what about you, brother? Won't you help take the word of the Lord to some poor foreign heathen who doesn't know his Amos from his Exodus? <laughs> God bless you, and the Lord thanks you for a sweet Fanny Adams. Hello, Billy. Brother William. Don't be daft. It's me, Ernie Atfield. And it's me that's Brother William. That's what Benjamin Bailey calls me. Would you like to hear what your Auntie Ivy calls Brother Benjamin? Uh, no, Tar. I can guess. All right, is she? She wants you back, Billy. I know. But I can't desert Brother Benjamin and Sister Joanne. You see, only they've shown me a whole new way of life. They're so pure in word, thought and deed. That's as may be, Billy. But I gave my solemn promise that I would use all my powers of persuasion to convince you that your place is back home with her. Well, I'm sorry, I can't. Are you sure? Oh, positive. Well, that's that, then. You fancy a pint? <laughs> oh, no, silly. You know, it's against my religion. It's against mine and all. What is? West invaluable drinking time. Ta-da. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Before you go, how about giving a little something to bring some light into the dark corners of the world? A little light? Since you put it like that. Good luck, Brother William. Oh, God bless you, Brother Ernie. And the good Lord thanks you for... Matches? <laughs> oh, very funny, yeah. Don't you worry. Come Judgment Day, you won't need matches where you're going. <laughs> oh, heck. Nearly time for the meeting. Benji? I didn't know they did that in Catholic. <laughs> Benjamin? Look, shouldn't you get a move on? I mean, little What's-His-Name will be back soon. Oh, yeah, Brother Shorthouse. <laughs> you know, I feel really proud about him. He's the first genuine convert I've had since I've been doing the Alleluia business. You don't think I've, uh, I've got it, do you? It? The power. What with the houses we've been getting <laughs> and the size of the silver collection, I thought I'd do the thing properly, you know, go the whole hog, become a bishop. What, of the Church of Turkey? <laughs> I'm sorry, love. Well, I found Vestal Virgin Oh, mate, tonight. Look, I'm covered <laughs> beer stains. Oh, look. It's all wrinkled at the bottom. Let me give you a hand. Here, look. It's strictly business between you and me. Brother William will be back any minute. Well, he'll have to wait his turn, won't he? Give us a kiss, <laughs> child. Bingy! <laughs> Brother Benjamin, I'm back. Sister Joanna. Gee, stop it. You're crumpling my habit. <laughs> Speak after me for what you are about to receive. Oh, Benji. Oh, Benji. Benji. Oh, Benji. Stop it. Oh. I'll have to stop smoking. <laughs> Oh, aye. To the mission hall. 
I wasn't there. I know. Seems like I just missed you. I didn't miss Brother Benjamin, though. <laughs> or Sister Joanna. <laughs> you mean you saw them? Of course. And you're quite right, Billy. What about? He is a wonderful man. Hey? The way he was looking after Sister Joanna after she had that, um, funny do. What funny do? Poor lass. Prostrate she was, right across the table. <laughs> Panty? Well, Brother Benjamin was trying to revive her when I walked in. <coughs> Panty? I wish you could have seen his face, Billy. He was that worried about her, he could hardly speak. <laughs> I can imagine. And he rode up. He thinks that the tour's become too exhausting for the poor child. So they're packing up and leaving right away. And they're never coming back. Never. Oh. Aye. Aye. Well, maybe it is for the best. You're right, love. It is for the best for everybody. Billy. Yes? I'm sorry, love. I really am. So am I. <laughs> but it's good to be home, though. <laughs> you haven't told me back, Chuck. Are you hungry? A bit. I'll go and fix you something. Oh, a piece of this will do. Oh, no, it won't. That's for visitors. <laughs> Your family again now. Thank <laughs> you. 